everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lorela and my channel is about metaphysical wellness, mythology. Today I'm just going to have a little bit of a catch up with me. So you might have noticed that I was not here for January. Um, that was for a very good reason because my sister was here visiting from Australia. So those of you who don't know, I'm actually born in Australia, but I moved to Germany in 2017 to be with my husband. Um, I have a wonderful husband and a son here in Germany. So I'm very happy here and it really was just the most wonderful time for my sister and her husband to come and visit as we've not even seen each other since we've both been married and yeah, it just was really fantastic. So they got to meet my son for the first time and my husband for the first time and we just had a really great time together. So it feels really great to be back and just getting back into things for the year. It seems like we had a little bit of a late start because we were so busy, but it's also for really nice things happening. Um, can't complain too much. We went to an aquarium together and heaps of restaurants and a little bit of uh, local visits to flower houses and uh, all these different things that was just really, really nice. And um, my family being half German, so I am a German citizen, it was also great for my sister to be here and just to see what Germany is like and how we do things here. So I don't feel totally left out of Australia because I am half German anyways and I just feel like I'm where I'm meant to be but it just was such a happy time to have some of my family here to visit. happening is that from next week I'm just going to give a gluten-free diet a go uh, as I have read that a lot of people who have psoriasis and psoriasis arthritis really benefit from not eating gluten and are often even gluten intolerant so I'm just going to give that a go for a month or two because really the best way to see if you're gluten intolerant is to just cut out gluten for at least six weeks and see if you notice any kind of a change. Um, the proper way to then do it is to reintroduce gluten and see if any of the uh, side effects from being gluten intolerant return to your body. And if they do, then you can say for sure that you're gluten intolerant. Uh, there's a little bit of a difference between gluten intolerance and celiac disease, which is actually uh, totally being incapable of eating gluten because it's so bad for you but gluten intolerance is a little bit more like just a sensitivity to gluten there's also a wheat allergy that you can have which is where you are having really allergic reactions to eating wheat which is also a little bit different to gluten intolerance but yeah I'm just going to give it a go and see what happens you can even sometimes just have your body healing itself from cutting out gluten if you are sensitive to it. So sometimes even just after a year or two or a few years, then you could slowly reintroduce gluten back into your diet and not have the kinds of sensitivities that you were having before. 
So I'm just interested to see what happens with it and I'll have to keep you updated on how that goes for me. My next video will be about Vikings and Viking mythology and Viking religion and a little bit of the history of the whole Viking era. So that should be quite interesting. Um, keep posted for that one. Another thing that I've been really interested in is religion and just studying all the different types of religion that there are throughout history and the world and even just studying um, the world evolution itself and how that coincides with religion and history. For me personally, I was raised as a Christian, going to church, was baptised and went to religious lessons every Wednesday, learning and studying the Bible. And I just feel like even some parts of that are just so beautiful to have such faith and to be in a church surrounded by people who have the same faith as you do. And there's just something that's really nice about just believing in something that you can't even see. So believing in a God that you can't even say for sure is there is just such a wonderful thing to me. Um, in my 20s, just before my 21st birthday, I actually had a near-death experience where I had a pulmonary embolism and this experience just somewhat changed religion a little bit for me to that I started following a little bit more Buddhism and I had always been interested in Buddhism. Um, as I mentioned, I just really love to study all kinds of religions and I just feel like that there is some kind of being in the sky, you could call it God, you can call it whatever you want. If you happen to be interested in hearing about my near-death experience personally a little bit more then leave a comment down below and perhaps I might, might make a video going into what happened there and what my experience really was because it was some kind of life-changing I mean yeah it was a really big moment in my life I feel like though that it's really hard for me to put a finger on what kind of religion that you would say that I am because I just have such cross beliefs and as much as I believe in some Christian theories and I also believe in a lot of Buddhism, I have came across something called Tengri recently which really seems to resonate with a lot of the things that I believe in. So Tengri is basically saying that there is something higher above, um, some kind of almost deity, but not even because it's not even a personification of God. It's not giving an image to God. It's just saying that, yes, there is something there. And it's not condemning any kind of religion in a way. It doesn't even classify itself as a religion as even Buddhism can be classified as a religion even though Buddhists don't believe in any kind of God. So Tengri doesn't even call itself a religion, it's more of a philosophy and it actually does not condemn any kind of religion. It doesn't say that there's any kind of religion that is bad or wrong and really it's up to you to believe what you want to believe. and. What's more important to Tengri is that you are just a good person and so it even says that you could be a person who goes to church every day, every single day praying, saying your prayers and you could be someone who's also doing things that are not so nice and this kind of person is going to fare less well than someone who doesn't go to church and doesn't pray and doesn't believe in any kind of religion and just does the right thing every day and just works hard to be a good person for themselves and for their family. And so it really just follows along with being a good person. Um, so it kind of almost crosses the two without calling itself a religion, the two religions that I really follow along with, which is 
saying, well, yes, there probably is some kind of God, but also saying that I wouldn't personify it as much and that Buddhism is following along with karma and just doing the right thing and yeah, so that's just been really interesting for me to find something that kind of really resonates with a lot of the things that I believe in. Going along with Tengri, it also just is so interesting to me that I can some kind of uh, research and learn about all these different religions and Tengri just doesn't really say that any of them are bad or or nothing like that and so it just is almost like just having a faith. Tengri also follows along with something else that I believe a little bit which is that there is some kind of almost uh, father in the sky really saying that the sky and the heavens are what is this um, almost godlike being it's yeah it's not even put into words of being anything but it's just there and that the mother is the earth and almost that the two together are what make life and that is really just follows along with some things that i believe in that there is a father and a mother just like any kind of life on earth often has a father and a mother and that mother is the earth and father is in the sky and the two put together just really create beautiful things so it almost follows along with the fir very first religions that were ever created which is just that all of god is in all of nature and yeah that just really is such a beautiful thing to me just to see that god is in life and religion is somewhat above that and there's just not even a way to describe the way that life and creation are just such a wonderful thing so another big thing happening is that from probably around about march i don't want to put an exact date on it but I will be starting some tarot card reading, if you'd like to call it tarot. But I do just card reading for myself and I've done that for a long time and I always find it really spot on and really helpful. Um, sometimes if I'm stuck with a question or sometimes not even because of that, just because I'm looking to say, am I going the right way and is my life going in the path that I should be going or even just finding a way to connect to that higher being that you can call God or whatever you would like to call it. It just really keeps me in touch with the universe and it's just something that I've done for a long time and I'd love to be able to bring that to other people especially if it's something that I'm good at and it's something that I can do for you then if you are interested, I will be doing this through a Patreon account and I will mention more about this on my YouTube. Yep, so we've just had a really big start to the year really with my sister visiting from Australia and just having such a great time there. Um, and then reading into all these different religions, which is so interesting to me on top of educating myself a little bit about a gluten-free diet change and I'm just looking forward to even starting some of those things this month so we had a really great month last month and I just feel like this is also just going to be a really good month for starting new things and even following along with some other things that I started last year like this YouTube channel that I just feel it's really great for me to get myself out there and it's really positive for my mental health as I've had a hard time in Germany in the way of not meeting a lot of people and I just feel like this is a way to come into contact and be a little bit social and get, yeah, just get back into things that way. And even just to go a little bit more into Tengri beliefs is to say that it's just a really beautiful thing to have faith and you can have that faith by going to church, you can have that faith through whatever religion you believe in and you don't even need to go to church as such. 
if you can't make it to church because you are physically restrained or um, you have no way to get there by transport, it just really follows that. You don't even need to do that to be a good person and to have faith and to have some kind of almost God there for you because my belief is that God is just there for everybody um, regardless of whether you can physically get your body into a church. It just really means that you don't need to do that. And although that is, as I said, a wonderful thing to be around other people who have such faith and to be a part of ritual and prayer and all of these really beautiful things, you also don't need to do that to have God with you. And that's just what I truly believe. So as much as I also do follow Buddhism, I do see that there is some kind of also something out there that I'm not sure if you want to put the word God onto it, but that's just how I call it. And Tengri does say that there is something there, even though it's not personified and it's more of a philosophy than a religion. So to talk about it, you really do need to kind of put some kind of name onto this almost sky heaven being. And I just refer to this as God because, as I said, I was... Um, raised as a Christian and I just feel that's just the word for it for me but it's not even saying that you need to be a Christian to have this faith or to have something there that you believe in and to also not believe in anything is also fine if you just are going through your life just focusing on being a good person there's also just nothing wrong with that so I just wanted to end this video today on that note. I hope that you've also all had really a great start to the year and a really happy new year so far. And I just hope that 2023 is good for everybody and I will be talking to you soon. So thank you and don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel as it really helps me out. Thank you. Bye.